box is open. What the hell? Nah, I've had this for an absolute steal. Hello there everyone and welcome to my what have I bought from Vinted this week video. So yeah, I know ClickRite talks about this a lot, but Vinted is an absolutely phenomenal way to source products to sell it on eBay. A lot of people are selling on there and they don't know what they've got and what the value is. So if you know what you're looking for, you can definitely swoop in and pick up some absolute bargains that you can flip for a pretty decent profit. So I just wanted to show you guys what I've picked up this week and what I'm hoping to get back for it as well. So to start off with, I've got these Vans. They are the Marvel collaboration. I'll just show you real quick. Marvel on there, so there's a the Marvel Black Panther. These are a UK size six in total. I paid nine pound and fifty four pence for these. They are literally brand new, never been worn. They didn't come with the box, unfortunately, but it's not to worry. I should still do pretty decent out of them. I'm aiming for sixty pounds on these, maybe a little bit higher compared to some of the others, but I'm not sure many of the listed in a size six. So hopefully, I find the right buyer for these. Next up, we have these Crockett and Jones Brogues. Never heard of Crockett and Jones before, but doing my research on what shoes sell and what shoes sell for. Uh, so basically what I did was I went on eBay, went sold items, price above £100. Looked through all the brands uh, that were selling for over £100. Had a look at them, see how many are selling. And then went on Vinted and found these. Decent condition. Uh, the tops are, are pretty good inside the insoles and things. I've got a little bit of wear, but nothing, nothing major. I'll show you those there and the soles as well a little bit of wear but again nothing too much a little bit of crack in there as well but not going to affect it too much size six on these on these i paid 35 pounds and 99 pence all in and i'm aiming to get again going pretty high 100 pounds i've got best offer turned on so if somebody wants to make an offer then they are more than welcome to and if i uh yeah want to entertain it then obviously i'll accept it and finally my last pickup at the no, last pickup that's turned up today at least is these nike mercurial vapor academy these are the fairground so they've got the molded studs on the bottom really nice black gold colorway uh really 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 good condition as well there's a few marks on the a few scuffs on the molded studs on the bottom probably where someone's walked across some concrete or gravel or something in them but the actual uppers again incredibly clean they're really really soft on the inside these are a uk size eight paid for these 14 pounds and nine pence in total and again i'm aiming quite high at 60 pound mark again as always best offers turned on somebody wants to make an offer more than welcome to and if it's uh, if it's a good enough offer i'll obviously accept it so i have got some more stuff coming hopefully some more stuff will land throughout the week so yeah i'll catch up with you in a bit when some more parcels come just had the every delivery driver come and it's another vintage purchase this is a big bundle of watches so let's dive in and we'll have a look see what there is first up there's this really nice esteemer pocket watch not pocket watch it's bigger than a pocket watch god knows what kind of watch clock it is it is ticking it does wind but the second hand doesn't seem to move so it will be spares and repairs again i don't know how much this is worth a lot of this probably isn't worth a lot but it would have would have been one maybe two things i would have seen in this bundle which i knew i could make money on any comps i do find i'll throw up on screen for you to have a little look at let's go so in here we've got just some little stainless steel bar case backs. There's a winding crown. There's little bits and bobs as a plexi. Uh, little odds and sods, I suppose. A few pins. I'll pop that to one side. Let's go. Let's go with this bag. And these were sold as spares and repairs, so more than likely not working. Pulsar, a little watch. Not really worth a lot. Leader, again, don't think worth a lot. I will, like I said, if I find any comps, I'll throw them up. That old Timex, which is working. That looks like Mother of Pearl. It is Mother of Pearl. Mother of Pearl something or other. You never know. Some of this stuff might be gold. I have a look for hallmarks and stuff like that. Get me a loop out. And that's Mother of Pearl as well. So I'm guessing that... Did all these go together? Maybe. Maybe that went all together like that. Who knows? Who knows? But, you know, Mother of Pearl's always decent. So, yeah. Nothing, nothing crazy in there. Bundle everything up and get rid of it. I haven't even told you how much I paid for this. I can't remember myself off the top of my head, if I'm honest. So for this bundle, I paid £22.48 in total. That's including postage and the buy protection on Vinted, which the buy protection is incredibly good. And Everite, Quartz, no case back, broken elasticated bracelet. I say, bought these as spares and repairs. I knew they were going to be. So whatever it was I saw in this must be in this last package. What did I see in this? Alright, so, Seconda, not worth a fat lot. Yeah, you got this thing, I don't know what the hell this is. It's got like, whatever, is it diamonds? Is it gun cases? I don't know. But they got that in there. It's a weird little quartz watch as well, so we'll look it up, see what's what. Ah, uh, remember, remember which one this is. These two are what I saw in this bundle. They're missing case backs, 
but that's fine. So there's a little Hermes quartz watch there. Obviously Hermes being very, very high uh, high value. It was gold plated at some point. It isn't now. That's cool. And then there's this uh, constant Swiss made moon phase. I know there was one of these listed on eBay at the moment and it was like over £200. Again, not in the best shape, but we should be able to get something back for it. I mean, the hands turn, which is a good start. Date wheel works, which is good. It's just a really nice, really nice little dress watch. So yeah, I'll throw comments up on the screen and yeah, when the next load of deliveries turn up some point this week, then we'll go through them. Another day, another vintage delivery. It is Thursday today. Have a look what this is. And, oh, it's a load. Pokemon cards. Hopefully these are a little better than the last ones that I bought. So yeah, these are like loads of vintage older cards. Pikachu from the movie back in what, 2000 I think. And there's a Pikachu Japanese uh, promo of some description. I'll throw comments up on screen uh, if they're worth anything. There's a nice uh, Japanese Misty. The only problem is it is absolutely battered. Big crease on that one as well. This type of ocean card's not in too bad uh, condition. For these I paid £56 and £55 all in to be fair. It was late at night and one of those just impulse purchases. I think I was a bit tired and didn't really look too hard. So I'd still do all right. I'll probably bundle most of these uh, into one at one sale. Get a nice Dragonite. We've got a big massive crease. This is one here that should do okay depending on the condition. Condition doesn't actually look too bad. Dark Blastoise non-hollow. I'm going to show you the condition on the back. Seems decent. Snorlax from Jungle, Flareon from Jungle, another Snorlax from Jungle, the Victory Bell from Jungle, Flapable from Jungle, Mr. Mime also from Jungle, and Venomoth from Jungle as well. They all seem to be in decent condition to be fair, but not gonna be worth a ton of money. I'm thinking I can probably part all this out into little bundles. There we go, here we go. So you've got all those non-hollows have been sleeved. Yeah, you've got like Hollow Gyarados from Baser. Again, not in the worst condition. But that's not in a top loader. Clefairy, base set two. Very, very nice condition. Some old base set cards, energies. I got energy. Got a lot of energy. Again, loads more old vintage cards. And then we've got whatever's in here. Another theme deck. It's a little squished. There's some more cards in here. Load more energies, energies. Basic cards 56 pound all in should be able to do all right so i'm not don't know what 100 percent to expect but don't do too badly out of it i'd at least at least get my money back if not some more which would be uh, which would be pretty good like i said a bit of an impulse purchase not the best purchase you know we move i'll be back when i get some more uh, more deliveries i'm expecting another one today you'll see me uh, a little bit later on Like all my Christmases, I've come at once, buzzing. So I've had six parcels delivered today from Vinted, plus one from earlier, so seven. So let's get these cracked open, see what I've got, and see what I should hope to get back and what I've spent. I'll start with these two, because I know exactly what they are. Tudor hat, basically, I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same as the one I've currently got. I will double check it against it. So these hats cannot be bought retail. You can't go to a store and buy one. I got mine when I went to Crete with Tudor. I went on a free diving expedition thing. I got given mine when I got into the hotel room. So I've got one and I got two. These are both exactly the same. Two there. Paid five pounds each. Paid five pounds each with the protection and the postage. One came to eight pound eight four. The other one came to nine pound fifty four. So I've got one that I wear a lot myself. I might keep one of them as a backup for when that one eventually gets worn and ruined. And the other one, you're looking at 45, 50 pounds on them as well. Cause like I say, you can't buy them from the shops. So they're given out. They are sick. Tudor is my brand. I love Tudor. Anyone who doesn't know what Tudor is, Tudor is the sibling company to Rolex. Been around since 1926. I'm not gonna bore you with all the uh, rest of the details. I could go on forever. Next one here, get this cracked open. You know when you buy so much stuff that like you sort of forget what you bought? That's what's going on here. To the Pandora box. <laughs> I haven't bought anything Pandora. Okay, so this is it's an old Amiga Seamaster. Ladies watch. I don't know if it's got a focus. I don't know. Anyways, so I paid £35 for this. It is missing the crown. The crown's not on there. But it does say 18 karat on the clasp. But I don't know. I don't know if this is 100% legit or not. I will need to ask a few questions, ask a few people what's what. It has got Amiga stamped on the back. This is all legit. It is all genuine. It could be worth a lot of money. Like I say, I paid £35 for it. Risky take. I paid £40.34 all in on this one. To be fair to the girl, she did message me saying, you do know the winder's missing. I was like, yeah, that's fine. The next morning she messaged me again saying, I've looked them up, they are very, very expensive. I'm not 100% sure if this is legit, uh, but I don't want you to call me a scammer if it's not. 
And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fair enough. You've been completely upfront and honest with me. And the fact that she was upfront and honest with me led me to believe it might actually be genuine. But I'm going to ask a few questions. Obviously, I'm in the right industry to ask those questions. Uh, and I'm on a few vintage watch uh, Facebook pages as well, even though I know everybody on there jumps on to say things are fake straight away. So I found one similar that sold three years ago on eBay and saying gold plated. If it is, it's fine. It's going to be worth more than £35 a pound. I just need to make sure the movement and everything is genuine. So we'll ask some questions. And like I say, follow me on Instagram. Simply reselling to uh, keep updated. I don't know what these are. So these are free. Eaton shirt. Let me check them over for condition. But there's a short sleeve, little check pattern there. Nice pocket on the front, nice buttons. Yeah, 18, good size. Eaton's a good brand to look out for in the charity shop. So I picked up a shirt recently for two quid. Haven't listed it just yet. I think I want to check on here is the armpits. There's a little bit of staining, I think, but nothing major. Again, really, really good size. Need to just check that there's no stains on it. I probably won't do in this light, but it's just a white, nice white uh, long sleeve there. Wrinkle free cotton. Don't know if that sells for more or not, but again, long sleeved, nice grey. On that one, again, it is an 18 inch collar. Again, bigger size, which is always nice. I'll just let you know how much I paid for those. For those, I paid £12.10. Uh, I should be hoping for at least, I would say, £20 minimum a shirt back. I'd say if that white one has got some stains on that, I can't get out maybe a little bit less on that one. White shirt, but you weren't under a blaze. Should be able to see the stains, I suppose. This one, I think I know what this one is. Yes, so yes, I can't see anything through all this bubble wrap. It's another big bundle of watches. I love a watch bundle. Little beauty here. We'll have a look through all the other ones. Scratch to all hell, but it's a little Zenith quartz. Now, anybody who knows anything about watches knows that Zenith is a very good watch brand that will turns beautiful hands turn amazing that is a proper nice little dress watch old as well I'll probably say 60s 70s okay so apparently after me uh looking at that watch it just cut out and stopped recording so yeah i went through the rest of those watches there wasn't really anything of note but like i say that little thing there will pay for that whole uh, lot and then some so i need to get back to doing that and get that tested i've just opened up this parcel here i'm going to spin you around and show you what i can see so that is a whole box full of pokemon toys and don't get me wrong there is some good and there is some bad i mean stuff like this she's told me um made in 2004 bulbasaur and then you've got some absolute like trash like that <laughs> which is just china so i need to go through sort out the good from the bad and then I'll probably bundle several smaller bundles of the good stuff. And then the bad stuff I'll probably just get rid of. Either bin, charity shop. I don't know. <clears throat> I'll do something with it anyway to get rid of it. Um, but yeah, definitely. Bit off a little bit more than I can chew, I think, with this one. Uh, so I need to really get cracking on and get this sorted. Let you know how much I paid for it. So for the whole box, I paid £57.19. Uh, all in. Delivery, postage, buy protection, everything. And there's, like I said, there's just a bit of everything in here. Like I say, we've some of the I'll find out some of the Tommy bundles and put them together and show you uh, on screen now some of the comps and I should be able to make a decent little bit back. I should hope but that's going to wrap up uh, Thursday's deliveries. Shouldn't be having any more today, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, but yeah, if anything comes Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then you'll see me back another day and some more vintage deliveries. So I've got two more. Don't know if I'm expecting any more after this. I will double check, but let's get the first one opened. Obviously, being a big Pokemon fan, I've been looking for some tasteful adult clothing. So not like plastered in Pokemon or childish looking. Haven't really come across much yet. I did buy a jumper, which was too small. So I'm going to have to sell that one. I'm not going to keep this one for myself, but it was only like £2 plus a little bit of postage. I'll get you the proper price now. Yeah, so I paid £5.69 in total on this one. It is all over print Pokemon t-shirt from 2016. Show you that there. Oh, Cedarwood. It's... Um... Cedarwood State's Primark. It's Primark, but it's cool. So I reckon that's worth 20 quid of someone's money, surely. Because you know, obviously can't get it now. So if somebody wants a cool size large Pokemon t-shirt, let me know. And then I've just uh, this big box turn up. I don't know what this is. And I'm quite intrigued. Just had a bit on my Bratz dolls. 
So this is Wolf. It's a Wolf watch box. So it's a 10 piece watch box. Now anybody who knows Wolf knows it's incredibly expensive. But this person is saying that the key doesn't open the box. The box is open. Does the key not lock it? Well the keys are blank. By the look of it. Look at the key. There's no notches in it. That's locked. What the hell? Nah. They've just gone. I can't open it. No. I've had this for an absolute steal. Oh my days. What I was going to say is that obviously I work in watches. I work with this brand. So if that key didn't work or the lock was broken for some reason, I was just going to contact the brand and go, can I either send it to you for you to look at? Or can you send me a new key, which I have done for somebody recently. I sold one, a smaller one of these, and it didn't, there was no key with it. So I called them up. They went, yeah, yeah, we'll put it in the post. Give us the client's details, the client's address, if they're okay with it. And they sent it out. So I could quite easily call them. But I'm amazed. I'm, I'm shocked. I feel like messaging him going, you do know this is working. But no, I'm not going to do that. So the guarantee hasn't been signed, which is sweet. Let me just find out comps on this. I'll tell you what I paid. I'm, I'm buzzing on this. I paid £36.49 for this. Now, if you follow the channel, I don't think I showed it on the channel, if I'm honest. I think I put it on Instagram, though. Uh, I bought a watch roll, so a triple watch roll. I'll throw up a picture of it on screen now. Um, and I paid £10 for it, just over £10. That sold within a day or two days for £100 on eBay. So I can only imagine how much this is going to go for. Give me a second. So this, brand new, is £230. And you can get 15% off as a new customer. On eBay, there's only 12 results. So one of these in red sold for 150 Buy it now. Purple one, 195.19 from the States. 225. Oh my God. What a buy. I might just bang it on a buy it now at 200 quid. People buy these like crazy as well. So yeah, I'm only waiting on three more things to come from Vinted. If they turn up tomorrow, today's Friday. So if they turn up tomorrow on Saturday, then I'll obviously film it and put it in the video. If they don't, then I'll put them into next week's video, maybe. And I haven't really bought too much off Vinted over the last few days because I'm waiting on some stuff to sell uh, to get the money back in the bank. But if they don't come, I'll outro this video uh, in another clip. If they do come, then obviously you'll see me again. So today's Saturday had two more parcels arrive today from Vinted. So going to be the last ones of this video as it is saturday we won't get any more deliveries tomorrow oh my god he's in bed what? he's in bed you ready to see the most cutest thing you've ever seen in your oh, life Mr. Harrison. <gasps> stop it i bought him pikachu slippers oh my goodness he's in bed so he's not gonna be able to try them on oh. they are like the cutest thing ever the original apparently from like, yeah, like 99, 98. What, his yeah. tags on? Yeah, 99. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. Two to three, apparently. Before he doesn't have anything cute to wear, like while he's at home. So, I bought him a few two slippers. Yeah. They aren't even for sale. <laughs> they aren't even <laughs> to sell. I will have a look to see if any have sold on eBay. And then, I got this, which is like ridiculously heavy. I can't remember. Is. For this, I paid twelve pound eight nine. <gasps> Food's here. It's more watches. I'll have a quick look through these, and if anything's decent, I'll show you. Like one of these sold for like twenty five quid. It's a Rolatron Super Deluxe Anti Magnetic Swiss. It's wind watch. It works. Second hand's a bit bent, mind. It's not in the best condition, but yeah, it's worth putting it. Uh, worth it's one worth selling at least. I mean that one. It's probably a 10, 15 pound watch, maybe. Put a battery to make sure that it's all working. It's not in the best condition, but that is a big battery. What the hell? You can see that. The size of that thing is huge. We're going to go eat and then I'll, I'll try this video. So there's not really many for the value, but a little bundle. Just took out what I wanted. There's two in here. 